What's going on guys? Uh, back at you here with another episode of How To. This week, how to install a speed feed on a die rotor. What you will need is a die rotor, go figure. Even more surprising, you'll need a speed feed. Right here I have uh, an Exalt uh, rotor fast feed. Yes, fast feed. Uh, this go the same way for the Crown SF, um, the uh, the rotor feed gate from Exalt, or uh, really any of the uh, the speed feeds that are out there. It all kind of goes in the same way. Uh, so again, for this demonstration purpose, I have a rotor fast feed from Exalt. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. If you have anything newer than basically like the second half of one the the uh, the one point five version of the rotor, if you have a really really old rotor, you might need an Allen key in place of this screwdriver. Um, but I think most everybody is going to just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And then you're going to need something to push the pin out that the lid uses to stay in. Uh, you can either use like a little uh, punch like this. You just need something that's long and straight and f and small enough, uh, like the end of these needle nose pliers or something, and you'll see that uh, when we get to that part. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring the camera in and show you guys what I'm doing. All right guys, so we got a rotor here and the first thing we need to do is take the whole top section off. So go ahead and take the top off of your rotor and that's all we're gonna be using today. So you can go ahead and put the bottom of the rotor off to the side. Uh, first thing we need to do is take the uh, top section off of the top section of the loader. And that is held on by, if you have a really, really old loader, they're gonna be uh, silver screws that look like this, but they're gonna be using an Allen key. Anything that's new, relatively recent within the last couple of years is uh, gonna be using these Phillips head screws. There's gonna be five of them. Uh, there's two down here, and there is two right here, and then there's one up here at the uh, front section of the rotor. Uh, for purposes of this video, I've already taken out four of them. I only need to take out one of them. So I'll just go ahead and take that off. And then you can just push down on this middle section that pokes through and you have the top section of your rotor. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, you just push this down or else the, uh, this top section will get just hung up on the, uh, the catch tab. Let's go ahead and put that right there. And then we need to take the lid off. And if you look at this top section right here, um, there's a pin. If you see the, the slots right on the side here and here, right at the base of the slots, so right down inside there, there's a silver pin that you'll be able to see. We need to push it out to one side. Uh, so for this, you can either use, uh, this is like a, a punch, like a nail punch. Uh, I'm gonna use these uh, needle nose pliers. I'm only gonna use one part. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna push that through uh, till it stops and you can't really fit it in anymore. Um, you'll see the pin has come out here onto the side uh, once it gets to about that point, that's all you're gonna need because you're just gonna, at this, uh, at this time, so now you can lift up the section of the loader that's not being held in by the pin, and that'll come out to about there. And at this point, uh, we can just kinda take it off of the pin. Uh, just do be very careful that the spring in there doesn't go flying. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the spring right, that's down right here at the bottom of the lid as I just pull it off of the pin here. So you'll have the pin left stuck in there and then you'll have the lid and the spring. Take the spring, I'm gonna go ahead and just set that in the lid because I'm gonna have to put this back after. And put that aside and we'll take the pin and put it in there as well. So now you're just left with uh, this top piece. So now we can go ahead and put the speed feed on here. If you look around uh, this ring uh, right here, you'll see a bunch of little pins that are uh, raised up out of the plastic. Um, they are part of the plastic, they are plastic. Uh, but you'll see a bunch of pins and we can go ahead and grab our speed feed. So I have here the red, white, and blue America version uh, to go with the nice gray, white, and red, airstrike red rotor. So if you look on the speed feed, uh, if you look around the edge, you'll see a bunch of little holes and those are, it's gonna work exactly like you think it's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna line these holes up with these little pins that are sitting in here. 
So let's go ahead and do that. So it just kind of sits on the lip and then they line up on those little those little pins and just kind of press it down so those pins go into the rubber. And make sure you go all the way around and make sure those are all nice and in there. And there we go. Make sure that's nice and press fit in there. So now at this point, we can go ahead and put this back on over the top shell with the speed feed back on it. So make sure you just line that up right. And there we go. Just kind of be you know nice and gentle just to make sure that you don't make this thing fall out. Um, so at that point, we can just go ahead and push down. So now if we hold it down, it's stuck in there, wedged between the two pieces, and that's where you get your speed feed. So, at this point, we can go ahead and you're going to take all of these screws and you're just going to screw them back into where they came from, leaving everything completely out, and your loader will end up looking like this uh, with those screws attached, and you can go ahead and put the top on your loader. And there you go, nice and easy. That's how you get a speed feed into a die rotor. Any of those speed feeds are going to work uh, exactly the same way, with the one exception of the Crown SF. Uh, those little plastic fingers um, come uh, separately and what you get in that package is basically a, a plastic ring that you're going to sit on those little posts. It's going to sit there on the edge and then you can go ahead and place those plastic fingers right there. Uh, so there you go guys, that's how you get a speed feed into a die rotor. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If uh, you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button, uh, like button, that really helps out the channel and I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.